Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be a quick video on the Relic Keeper and how useful he can be when he's properly leveled up. As I'm sure most of you already know this, but for any beginners watching these videos, uh, you'll notice I go over a lot of stuff in my videos. Um, you know, there's always new players. So what I did was, as you noticed in my last video, I made three upgrades uh, to six star. Uh, the Relic Keeper being one of them. He is now my most powerful. I had Gorgab as level six already, or sorry, six star already. Um, Crimson Helm. She's just about done. She is phenomenal. Does not get enough credit. So many good levels. And uh, Scarhide. He's got a few more to go. And then the other ones, I did a, f a couple fours. Uh, Dark Aethos, or sorry, Fives. Uh, Dark Aethos, she is fantastic in the Spider's Den. Uh, especially with her, uh, what's that skill called? Uh, Harvester of Despair. No, Harvest. Harvest of Despair. Absolutely phenomenal. And uh, you can see I'm still working on, I only upgrade uh artifacts during the events so you know i do the four every day four times just to get the daily but if you're wondering why these are all so low i do have some glyphs that's why you see the green there but if you're wondering why these are so low it's because i save my silver and i upgrade all the big ones on the artifact upgrade event and that way you get all the good rewards so I did her to five stars. So I got the three six stars. Her is a five star. I upgraded this dwarf to four star. Um, and these two dwarves to four stars. Because I only have three rares. And so these two guys, they're decent for commons. But that way I have five if the, uh, if the dwarven faction opens up. Because you know you need five for the faction. So just in case, until I get another rare or epic or something. But uh, they do work good as a team. And that's it. So what I'm doing now is on the dark. Or I mean, sorry, on the Arbiter uh, menu. And this, uh, what I'm going to show you for the Relic Keeper. This works on just about every single level. Um, and, in the fa and in his Sacred Order up until about stage 11 or so. But this one here. It's just auto 10 times, stage 7, so this one is like instant, so you're going to see what I mean. And I have speed on him, because so, you want him to have initiative, you want him to attack first, and I'm going to show you why. So this has to be on auto, which is perfect, so here we go. The Relic Keeper and his magic skills. see he is not going to stop because if he kills on that that's his basic attack which is an awesome attack if he kills he gets to go again so not a single one of my heroes is even going to get a chance to fight until we get to the fire knight uh, this works in campaign and in all the dungeons obviously um, and now I just have to let this finish I'm just going to let this run through before I stop the video, uh, just so it doesn't mess it up. We did, we did get our uh, maintenance rewards. They just gave out about an hour ago. They gave everybody some energy. Uh, three clan keys, clan boss keys, and uh, silver, I think. So. And now, you see the revive? That's from Crimson Helm. So there's two turns of revive for everybody. And now you can see her uh, can't be hurt. Her other skill is she'll attack all enemies, provoke them, 
and she's also immune for that entire turn. So her skills are phenomenal. Uh, and when worked properly, she is amazingly strong. And the artifacts I have on her aren't even fully leveled up. Much like the other ones I showed you. So we just have to wait till he opens up his shield here. This has to be on auto, otherwise I would do this myself. But to get the Arbiter Challenge has to be 10 times on auto. But I just wanted to show you what the Relic Keeper can do while I was here. And it is absolutely phenomenal. He's fantastic, especially leveled up. Open up your shield. There we go. Uh, not the best attack in Sky High. Ooh, there's a nice one. Get a few more big hits and then I'll uh, stop the video. And thanks for all the replies, everybody. I appreciated it. I took it all into consideration when I was uh, choosing which heroes to make six star. And since the server uh, had all those errors the last few days. I'm going to show you how I got burned on this event. I saved all those five star food, six star food. And as you can see, I leveled all my heroes from level one to 60, which is eight points each. And then I had five stars and four stars, but I also got the upgrade, which is like 200 each or something. But I got burned terribly on this event because of their server error and I'm going to show you before I quit the video on um, what happened and it's extremely upsetting because now I can't get the sacred tome probably won't even get the void shard oh there someone finish him off please there we go alright now check this out and I had the XP boost on, so I got all those levels. I should easily, if you do the math, easily have been finished or at least on the second, on the Void Shard or working on the Tome. But since there was so much, so many problems all weekend, let me just give these, watch what happens to my event. So I have three days, but it I have nothing left. So look at this baloney. Look at that. Not even finished this. And I should have been pretty much done with upgrading because see look. I did three of those. That's that's nine hundred points I got instantly. And that did work. The server didn't mess up before that. Uh, so then I started, so I had three of those. I did two, two five stars. There's another 200, so it's 1100 right there. Uh, I did three, four stars, or maybe even four. So it's like another, well, close to 1300, right? And that was about there. Then this is where the problem started for the week or the weekend. What am I talking about? It's Friday, I think. Or maybe it's Thursday. No, I think it's Friday. My guess I can't remember what day it is. So all of this ridiculousness, I should have been getting eight points. I had three six stars at level one. I had XP boosts on. I did the multi battles. All three of them. And as you saw, they're almost two of them are fully 60'd out, and the other ones are almost there. 
and the five stars are six and so I had three uh, two and three or four of those all from level one to level 40 50 and 60 did I get the proper points no because in the last day and a half the server well they had major server issues if you're on discord you can read it on raid so I got completely burned and that's unfortunate because I really wanted that sacred tome for my scar hide who had just made a level 60 level 6 star level 60 and but oh well so it happens but that was extremely disappointing I sent a support ticket in and you know they apologized and nothing they can do about it type of thing but oh well next time I guess but I had saved up for six or seven weeks getting those 15 uh, five star food to make three six stars and then all the four star food to make the five star and, and so forth and so on sorry going on about it it was just a little upsetting uh, I was really looking forward to that void shard and especially that sacred tome but anyway, so yeah, so now I'm just going to finish my Arbiter Challenge. I'm getting there. After this, it's earned three stars. Uh, I'll finish that. It's all most in the Superior Potion from what? Four stage? What's that? Red? Or no, Spirit is green. Your Force is red, I think. I don't even think the Red Dungeon's open today, so I have to wait to do that one. But anyway. The whole point of this video was to say thank you to everyone for all the suggestions on Discord and on the YouTube replies. Very much appreciate your feedback. Uh, I'm sure you all got the same YouTube notice that they are taking away the ability to reply to videos. And you, have, you can still share your videos to say Discord or Facebook or Instagram and then people can reply there. Uh, I guess the toxicity that everyone's been... And you know what? Everyone needs to chill out being a keyboard warrior. I play a lot of Xbox and I play a lot of games on here. You know, you think we've been playing games long enough now and online long enough with Twitter and all that. You think people would calm down. But just be nice, people. It's nice to be nice. I'm very chill. People are always bitching at me you know when i'm playing like rocket league is the worst like the kids on there are insanely toxic uh so sometimes i just shut the chat off it's you just can't even listen to it sometimes sometimes it doesn't bother me sometimes it makes me laugh uh you know it depends on mood you're in but i'm guessing that's why youtube is getting rid of the comment section on the videos uh, if you didn't get YouTube's notice, you can go to their website, and it's right there in the news notices section. I think it starts at the end of October. I have to, it's in my mailbox. I'd have to look it up again. But all these years, well, I've only been posting video games for about two years now. But I have appreciated all the feedback. There's been very little toxic comments. There's been the odd one. You know, saying, Jerry, you suck, or whatever. But, hey, man, everybody's got to learn games sometime. You're always a noob at some point. I've been a noob a million times in a million different games. So, but anyway, my point is, everybody, just chill out, man. Relax. Life is short. Games are fun. Uh, life is fun, man. So, enjoy yourself. Enjoy your day. And, again, I appreciate all the feedback. And there is my little tidbit on the Relic Keeper, so juice him right up, and you will roll through many, many uh, dungeons uh, with just him. So, uh, that was my tidbit for this video. Have a great one, everyone.